So welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about advertising. Can you please translate the word advertising for me? Uh, maybe William, can you try? Uh, into check. Into check, yeah. Or you can explain uh, if you want. Like adverti advertising is like. Uh, <sighs> I know what it means, but I don't know how to say it in Czech. Uh -huh, okay, okay, no, no problem. Presentovat, nebo jako. Mm, all right. Anybody else can try? Anybody? Reklama. Reklama, okay. And advertising can also be the action when I advertise. Takže něco propagovat, anebo dělat marketing, okay? Propagace nebo marketing. That's also possible, uh, a possible translation here. So today we are going to learn a little bit about advertising and have a little chat about this. At first, let's discuss a few important uh, things over here. What kinds of things do people advertise? Uh, Slavic, can you give us one example? For example, like if you have some product, then you advertise it on, for example, billboard. Yes, excellent. Yeah, like actually, as you see here in the picture, right? Your ad here. You use the word product. Wonderful. That's what I wanted. So what is the difference between a product and a service? So for example, um, Matej, can you try? Product and service. Can you compare? Maybe give us an example. A uh, product like I'm selling a new phone and service, I can repair your phone. I will service you with Excellent, good job. So basically, with theories, people sell their time, expertise, right? Something they know and they can do for you and they will spend their time on this and product uh, something that people make. Uh, guys, can I sell anything else? Or like uh, advertise anything else? Are there only products and services? What about apples, for example, or bananas, right? Is it a product? Yeah, it is. Do people make bananas? We don't make bananas, right? Or milk, we, right? We don't make milk. Like uh, when you say product, it means that it comes from a factory, that uh, people worked on it and it came out from a factory. But when you have, for example, fruit and vegetables and milk, for example, we call it produce, okay? I'm sure that you know produce as a verb. Něco produkovat, něco vyrábět, right? You know that. But produce can also be a noun, okay? Podstatné jméno. And produce can then mean um, fruit, vegetables, right? And uh, milk. Those are probably the most common uh, things. I can then take milk and I can make a product out of a milk. What kind of uh, product can you make from milk? For example, Andre, can you try? Yogurt. Yogurt. Yo, yo, uh, yogurt. 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 Or cheese, right? Cheese, yeah. So then these are products, but I need produce to make them. So I can only sell milk, okay? And when I sell just milk, then yeah, it's just produce, all right? Uh, fine. Um, are there any questions? All good? I'll take it as no. Then uh, where can you see advertisements or here? I should also maybe say here. So uh, for example, um, Peter, Peter, can you tell us where can you see or hear advertisements? In radio, uh, TVs, billboards. Mm -hmm. Billboards, okay, so on the street, let's say, on the street, excellent. And on the internet, okay. on the internet, that's the idea. Good job, gentlemen. So now, now that we know this, let's have a look at uh, vocabulary here. And uh, then we can just have a chat. So on the, on the left, you will see some pictures that might help you with the vocabulary on the right. The vocabulary on the right, the first word we have is a jingle. Can anybody here uh, tell me what jingle is? in the classroom, anybody? A jingle. It's like uh, something, uh, maybe, yeah, uh, it's something uh, which can help you remember the advert, 
Mm -hmm. So is this jingle something that you hear or see? Do you see it or do you hear it, jingle? Oh, you hear it. You hear it, excellent. So it is a sound or a song, okay? People can sing the, the advert or maybe the, they will just be some sounds that you will remember together with the product, okay? Do you know any jingles, guys? Apart from Jingle Bells, of course. Do you know any jingles? I, I remember one from McDonald's. Uh, yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, right? It's kind of like a song that you remember. Anything else? Or just the sound, maybe? You don't? Okay, it's okay if you don't know, it's fine. But we must understand a jingle then is a sound or, or, uh, or a song that will go together with the advertisement. Let's try another one. Uh, so for example, Kirill, a brand. Can you see any brands in the pictures? Uh, McDonald's, Starbucks. Um, yeah. And, and I don't know what the computer is there. Uh, yeah, but there are also some brands here, for example. Oh, Intel, yeah, Intel. Yeah, Intel, Pentium, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and also I see Big Mac. Big Mac is also a brand of a hamburger. Okay, mm -hmm. good job. Uh, can we translate it too, Carol? Uh, what, the, a brand? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's um, uh, a company uh, that is uh, doing something, sp uh, a specific product uh, that people know. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a name, right? The name of a company. And yeah. people will think of the products as this brand, as the name of this. All right. Yeah. Nike, Starbucks, right? McDonald's. Good job. Uh, now, a pop up. Anybody here knows from the classroom? Anybody can tell me? It's like uh, when, when you go uh, on some web, websites and then just add pops up. Yeah, yeah, that, that you used it as a verb, but that's completely correct. When something pops up, you you might know popcorn, right? It pops. It will just pop like popcorn and it will pop up. You are on the internet and something pops up. So uh, a window will appear in front of your eyes with an advert. So pop-ups are these windows on the internet that will just come at you and they will try to advertise something. All right, good. So they are on the internet only, all right? Pop-ups are only on the internet or on your phone, of course, on the internet. All right, let's try another one. We have this one, but there are two different ways to read that. I have already used this word today, so I think that there's no problem. There are many kinds of advertisements here, and there are two possible pronunciations. There is the British pronunciation, advertisement, advertisement and then there's the american pronunciation advertisement uh you can remember both but uh choose only one that you will use in your speaking um, i highly suggest using the american english but that's just my own preference if you prefer british english then use this one but but try to stay in British English only. Don't try to mix it. Okay. Pane učiteli, já si chci omluvit, mě se nešlo připojit. Tak okay. jsem tady. No problem. No problem. Okay. So uh, just be careful. There is this uh, difference in pronunciation, which might be a little bit confusing. All right. So you that you know, usually the pronunciation is very similar, but here it, it's quite different. So let's try this one. We also have an advert and an ad. It's the shorter version of this word, but it is informal. It is all the same, an advertisement, an advert, an ad, they are all the same. But the difference is that the shorter ones are informal. Can you explain what we mean by informal? Maybe Peter, can you try? Um. Informal and formal, right? We had it in writing when we did some writing in classes, do you remember? Like oh, I formal letter, informal letter. Do you remember that? No? It's no. okay. It's okay if you don't know. No problem. Anybody in the classroom can tell us? Informal, formal? Formální, neformální? Neformální, formální to spíš. Neformální znamená netypický, ne? Uh, no, 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 no. It's like between friends. Yes, okay. that's it. So informal is what you use on a daily basis, yes. on, on the street with your friends. Uh, we change the language according to who you talk to. If you talk to your friends, you should just say an ad or an advert. 
if you talk to somebody you don't know and you want to be more formal and more polite be really then i should say advertisement okay so it, it would just be a little bit impolite if you just said uh, an ad and you talked to some professor at, uh, at your college, for example, right? It would be like a little bit uh, impolite because you would use uh, a wrong style of uh, the language. And it's the same in our language too. We also change our language according to who we speak to. It's the same thing. So just be careful here uh, because we have these short versions and the shorter you go, the more informal you are, okay? So the shorter it is, the more informal it is too. Let's try the next, a slogan. Do you know any slogans? Uh, for example, Marek, can you try the slogan? Do you know any slogan? Maybe you know slogan. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Uh, McDonald's has slogan. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, excellent, good. And they also sing it and then it can become a jingle, right? So slogan and jingle, what is the big difference between slogan and jingle? Marek, can you try? How, do, how would you explain this difference? Um, like jingle, you can sing it. And slogan, it's like a one sentence. Yeah, and it is written, right? It is written and you yes. read it or you can say it, but you don't sing a slogan. Good job. Well done. Let's try another one. Uh, this time, let me choose someone else. Uh, 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 Jan, okay, Jan V, okay. Now a poster. A uh, poster is like the paper where they put the main things of the company. Yeah, okay. And where do you put the poster? On streets. On the streets, yeah, on the walls, yeah, of houses or some banners, right, on the street. Excellent. So how can we translate it? How can we translate it? Plakat. Plakat, výborně. OK. Then we have a billboard. Uh, another, Honza. Where can you find a billboard? Um, on the road. Yeah, on, yeah, by the road. Yeah, you drive by a car, road, yeah. you a billboard. Excellent. Then we have a leaflet. Anybody in our classroom knows that? Maybe Jakub, uh, Jakub P. Can you try? A leaflet. Let's yeah. talk. Let's talk. Excellent. So, how would you explain it in English? Can you use different words? Uh, probably piece of paper. Uh, brochure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's actually my next word here. Yeah. Yeah. So brochure. And how would we explain this? It, it's basically the same, but it. Uh, brochure paper. is on a nicer paper. Yeah. Okay. And maybe you can fold it. Můžeme ji složit, jo. But that's basically the idea. But it's still a piece of paper. And what will you find on this piece of paper? You don't know? The so most you... important yeah. uh, things about, yeah. Yeah, about the, the company. company. About the company or about the product. Yeah. It's very common to find this in your post box now, usually for local supermarkets. It's very common to find this. All right. Then we have a sticker. I think that this will be easy for you. Honza, can you try? Honza M. Sticker. You can uh, a sticker. Uh, that's a little piece of paper that is sticky on the other hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and you can stick it and stuff. And you can then put it on your car, for example. Yeah. yeah. And you can create an advert out of your car. Excellent. And then we have, yeah. Any question? All good. Then we have two adjectives, and uh, I will put them together because they are opposite of each other. We have the word skeptical and we have the word naive. I believe that these words are very similar to Czech, but maybe you don't use them very much. Máme skeptický a naivní. Can anybody explain the difference between these two words? Anybody? Um, yeah, skep skeptical, it means that you don't trust something. Yeah. And uh, naive is the opposite, so you trust uh, like everything. Yeah, exactly. So skeptical people don't believe easily. You need, uh, they need a lot of evidence, a lot of proof to see something and to hear it, to believe uh, the things. While naive people simply uh, believe everything you tell them. Okay, that's about it. Are there any questions about the vocabulary? All good? 
I'll take it as a no. So thank you very much. Let's uh, continue to our conversation this time.